In this chapter of our build, I am starting to build up the deck of the 1 to 250th scale USS Buckley Destroyer Escort. The first large parts to cement in place are the midship and forward superstructures to the deck on both the port and starboard sides. I use CA to attach these parts and I am holding them in place with small plastic clips. Although the advent instruction sheet calls for installing the deck into the hull before adding any of the parts onto the deck, I thought it would be much easier to attach most of the parts to the deck first, since the deck lays flat on the workbench. In my opinion, I think placing the parts onto the deck would have been more difficult if I installed the deck into the hull prior to assembling the parts. The superstructure front wall is installed next. The vertical walls for the aft gun tub are done next. After applying the CA and putting them on the deck and gun tub, I held the parts in place for about a minute. Please note that all the parts that I am and will attach to the deck have been spray painted prior to their assembly. This applies to every part you see in this chapter. The rocket launcher is now cemented in place. This part is installed just in front of the superstructure between the wall and the forward gun tub. Note that I have removed the clips from the superstructure walls. The small cylinder is being cemented onto the shaft or the torpedo tubes. Make sure the tubes still rotate. At this point, I should have painted the stanchions on the railings present on the superstructure parts and, after drying, placed the thread acting as railings onto those stanchions. Unfortunately, I did not and caused me a lot of grief putting the thread on later. Be forewarned, paint these stanchions TCP077 silver first. Lots of parts still need to be installed or cemented onto the deck. Now I am cementing the forward gun deck in place. Next is a 3 inch gun. After test fitting, I reamed out the hole slightly with a hobby knife as it was tight and a 3 inch gun should be able to turn so no glue is applied. Two 20 millimeter guns are installed next onto the forward gun deck again without glue. Superstructure back wall is the next piece to cement in place. Be sure to test fit 
And now you're ready to apply CA. Navigation deck front wall is next. Again, test fit so you know how it faces and then cement that in place. Note that I use CA for the majority of this build. The holes in the navigation deck are too small to allow it an easy fit of the steering station walls. I use the hobby knife to remount these holes. You may use a drill if you wish. Either way works. Cement the navigation deck in place once you are satisfied with the fit of the navigation walls that need to be attached. Now attach the steering station walls. Two ladders that go from the main deck to the navigation deck are next to be cemented onto the assembly. Note the ladders only fit one way so they are easy to install. The two stairs that go from the main deck to the top of the first superstructure level are next. Again, these fit only one way. At this point, I would like to say that considering this as an old kit, the design of the parts were well thought out, as most of them only fit in one way, so chances of messing up are minimized. The steering station front wall is next. Once again, I should have painted the stanchions silver that are at the top of the wall and put the thread on the stanchions to simulate the railing before I installed it. Now the steering deck is installed. The advent instructions are relatively easy to follow. The three inch gun placed about midships on the level above the main deck is installed with glue as it does not turn on this model. This is followed with the gun director on the steering deck. On the port and starboard sides there are four depth charge davits that are installed on each side. The open ends face outward only. First parts to cement in place are the two searchlights on the port and starboard side of the navigation deck. In this section of the video, more parts are being cemented to the model. Note that many of these parts can only fit one way. This is a nice touch on this old kit. The compass. 
and the 40 millimeter gun director just f of midships are being done now <laughs> The next part to put in place is the torpedo loading crane. The two main deck life rafts are numbered 57. These fit on the port and starboard sides. The other two rafts on the sprue are numbered 49. Go on the superstructure. Do not interchange them. They will not fit correctly. The superstructure life rafts, which are numbered 49, are next, which are easier to install than what I expected. These are the last items cemented in place in this chapter. If you have any questions about techniques explored in this video, or general questions about this build, Please post your questions in the comments section below.